here is Danny from the new outdoor studio. This is this is my land. This is my soil. I know I'm just I'm just happy like a child, but let me be so. Let me be so. All right, uh, guys. Today, uh, actually, we we can start to sum up the season, not the racing season, because it's still on and it will be on throughout the winter. Because I haven't done many races I wanted to do in uh, July and August and even June because of moving to the new place. So I'm gonna do more racing now, even in the winter. Uh, but the testing season is coming to an end because we are uh, sending back those testing bikes. And this is the Merida Scultura, which means sculpture 500. 500 means the, the model. The higher the number, the, the higher the components, the frame set sometimes, or the fork. So 600 would be higher components. Uh, but since this is three di digits, 500, it means we've got the alloy frame. If it was 5000, for example, 5000, that would be carbon frame. So one thing we can be sure, this is the aluminum frame, full, car full carbon fork. And then for the components we have, this is the disc brake version. So we have the Altigra, Shimano Altigra disc brakes, Shimano Altigra shifters, Altigra front derailleur, rear derailleur, and that's it as for its price this is the the first thing i don't like so much about this bike i would expect at least also altigra uh, chain set and just maybe 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 better wheels these are not bad but maybe better wheels because this bike weighs 9.1 kilogram according to the description on the merida website on my scale it shows 9.3 oh the rain is coming usually my scale and merida's scale are in sync but in this case they are not so 200 grams is something and for the price of this bike which will be just about i think 1800 euros uh, you can buy lighter bikes, like even 500 grams lighter bikes from uh, from other brands. Uh, you will definitely get this bike in your local store uh, cheaper than than uh, the uh, suggested price on the website. Uh, but it is on the high end, on the high side of, of the prices for these bikes. So alloy and Ultigra, non-Ultigra uh, components. As for the look, this is a black, this is like kind of matte, but but shiny matte with the red decals. It looks okay. Um, I would like to have the, my bike look a little bit more sexy. Maybe putting some deeper section wheels would look better. For sure it would look better. But this bike just doesn't, doesn't give me that much emotions when I'm looking at, uh, at the bike. Uh, as for the frame set, uh, it is well done. When you look at the welds, they are made very evenly, they are smoothened a little bit. These two are very difficult because here we have hydroformed uh, tubes. This is one weld, this is second weld, and they kind of try to look as, as the carbon frame look like with the continuous carbon fiber mm, uh, layup. Uh, this is done just well this part is something i would like to praise and merida i beg you don't change it even though you don't have the merida port like for the cables some bikes have on both sides other on just one side which is made very very well this doesn't have a port so we have three holes for the three uh, different uh, cables or housings but this is done very very well you don't need to put any stickers on your head tube because there is no rubbing at all. No rubbing at all. This has been done very, very well. Easy, non-problematic. Other thing is that also when you are changing the gears, when you are pushing those shifters, the cables don't move, they don't bend, which means the shifting performance is fine because uh, the more just bends on, on your housings, the, the less uh, 
feel you've got on the shifter for the for your derailleurs here as you push you can see the derailleur reacting right away this is done in a very very good way that's something i would expect from merida which says we are more bike like uh, right they say m-e-r-o more merida more bike this is just a dust so that's how your head tube will look like after tens of thousands of kilometers with no stickers because of this cable guiding routing i like it um the fork this, these are the 25c tires i'm going to tell you a little bit more about those in a second and you have space for more i would say 28c would come in here uh, with no problems it does look uh, the same in the rear i've also checked the front derailleur there would be no rubbing if you had 28c that's my uh, opinion about the the tire clearance on this bike and would i put like 27 28 c tires on this bike yes i would if you are a heavier rider or the the tarmac the roads in your area are not the in the best shape 25 c might be even too little you would maybe might want to have uh, more there you go you can put it on this bike as for the tires themselves these are the maxis dolomites and I must tell you, I, ride, I like uh, the tires because we've got a complete slick here in the middle, which you are actually riding on uh, and not using this um, treat or tread, this tread, sorry guys, this tread uh, when you're riding straight ahead. But uh, in the corners, you are using this and this gives you a little bit more grip in the corners. I like it. Uh, I haven't got any puncture on these tires, even though I sometimes have to go through such roads in order to get to my place so um, these are good tires i would say maxis dolomites fine uh, and, and i'm using usually five uh, 95 97 psis for my weight of 74 kilograms all right uh, as for the bottom bracket no squeaking no noise this is uh, working perfectly this is the press fit, it's not the threaded one, the press fit, it's okay. This is also the place you want to check on, on the bike you're buying. Uh, the distance between the fork and the head tube here is so small, so there is no, no uh, dirt coming into it. You cannot hear any, any noises here, even though I was not servicing my headset uh, bearings after these couple of months of testing, and I do ride a lot. We've got through axles and the wheels are Merida Expert Disc, it says here, Expert Disc SL, made by Alex Rims. I don't know who makes the, the hubs and I don't like not having any logos on the hubs, not only because of the logos, but also because I wanna, I wanna know what has uh, the man manufacturer puts uh, in the bike I'm paying X amount of money for. Uh, but the bearings, no problems. Very, very well made, uh, very well sealed. No uh, dirt is coming into those. Same story here. We don't know who made this hub, but it spins the wheel beautifully. So uh, um, the geometry it's is balanced you can race on this bike uh, when you are still having those spacers here under the stem uh, it will give you some comfy position when you're riding on the hoods or here on your handlebars uh, it's it's just fine because that's what the bike has been made for for most of the riders who just don't compete every day maybe from from time to time or just going for some uh, grand fondos the price should be lower the components should be a little bit higher i would like to have the altigra uh, change it here the bike would, would be lighter also as for the quality of assembling the bike thumbs up it's it's well made it is really well made especially the cable routing here at the front is great i would hate uh, for merida to change it and put it into the head tube because everyone does it now and and so merida will have to this is good 
let it be like this and, and don't change it. Seat post is carbon. This is the Merida Expert carbon seat post 27.2. You can feel uh, the seat post flexing, which with the tires of 25C or more gives you uh, comfort. And this is great. That's what I think about the Merida Scultura 500 road bike. What do you think about the bike or if you have one, what's your opinion? Tell us and thanks for watching. Bye bye.